and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. I am on the way to our next murder victim. Well, not not our murder victim, but the murder victim we are looking for. God, it's confusing. I'm making it even more confusing. Um, hmm? Oh, let's go down here. Come on, guys, hurry up. God, this place is huge. I'm going to ask for directions. No, no, you mustn't. The city is full of criminals. We can't let them Then why the hell did you come here if you knew this city is full of them? Again? Side. Anything of use? I don't know. You tell me. Seize the day, I say. More now than ever. Careful you don't pull a muscle in your haste. It hurt? Oh, inside. That, no. What happened? Oh. Wait, eight to forty eight is all right. He should, uh, wait, you can't get over here. I should have thrown them down there. Hmm. I shouldn't be wasting so much of my spells, but I really like it. Can you push him off? Why they came out of the water? I have no idea what's happening. Okay. Hmm? Can you cast it in such a way to not hit this guy but hit the like so. Do you still have my inspiration? I don't think so. Never mind then. They look so cool. They're so cute. And I do, yes, I do realize cute shouldn't be the word that comes to my mind when I f see creatures like these. I think I can start killing him. That made no sense. Oh, there's another one. that it's not really working how it's sh supposed to. Oh, not. Um. 
weapon worked. I can replace that. You don't need healing, just like... Grasp him, please. On the double. Thank you. Ooh, that hurts. Yeah, of course. But give me a moment. And I know, okay? So close. Just go away. It's really a shame that this does not work uh, opportunity attack. Almost. I don't expect that. Luckily I can still re re recast that. Nor did I expect that to happen. Um, It's not going good. Not at all. Um, I mean, I have some... Uh, I, I brought the rev revised crosses for that, but... Well... Wait, how did that not... Opportunity attack? Excuse me? It, not, it did not save you. Thank you. Um. Thank you for cutting those creatures down, truly. Gods know what would have happened if you weren't here. You're welcome. What are these things? And gods, do they stink? Yeah, because you you wouldn't think if you had to spend your your life. Ooh, you, wait, smelly bug. Just throw it away. If you're reading this, I'm probably dead. Trapped underwater by mad men and fish fucks. Explosives everywhere. No way out. Praying for help. Marjorie, Quinte, Holly, Elvio. Can we get there? Okay, <laughs> <laughs> mm. do we have any potions? Give me that guy. Me that. Um, right, I think I brought out a cape. No. no. If not over, then through. Wait, isn't this the better not be cursed? Well technically I am one eyed, so Where's the hatch? 
Oh, there's the hatch. Nope. You go first. This way. Best avoid that trap. Thank you. Can you? Oh. So we. God fucking damn it, Gale. I get it, you're suicidal, but no one else here is. Someone's left a trap out for us. Gale. There's no space? How come? Salutations. You're supposed to get to that if there's no uh, enough space. Can you use it? Nope. Can't use right now, so which means you can be using. Wait. I want a hand. Wait, really? How? First service. The soul stained scrapbook contains a dozen envelopes glued to its inner pages. Perhaps these envelopes were once contained letters, but now all are gone but two. Letter one, to Winky. Oh, Winky, how I long to be away with you on the open seas. Away from that grim old flood tide. Away where I can love you freely and without fear. With my ability to charm fish from the we waves, we'll never look for food. And you know I never tire of your chowder. Letter 2. Dear Salty. The moon shades, I'll show them to you, thus, uh, and we'll dance on them silver beaches in the silver moonlight. But I don't want to trouble on our sea journey. So first I must make my peace with Amber Lee, with a grand donation. Not much longer, Salty. Yeah, yeah, I can already see that it's trapped. Be careful. There are traps about. Great. Still alive. So that's progress. So that's all. You. What's inside? Counting house safe number six. Hey, one eye. Sure, I can get you and your wave servant Philly out of town without Captain Grizzly on the flood tide knowing. Meet me at that abandoned beach house you know about when the moon rises on the night of 14 Marpenov. Bring the bitch them dagger alike. Okay, we need to go to the counting house. Here we go. Counting house. Okay, allow me to write it down. Counting house number six. Okay. I'll catch a break. Please, sir. Oh, please. 
What's happening over here? Why is this? Oh. Mm-hmm. That's curious, but they won't let me. Um. Do you mind equipping this? Oh, I was very sure this wall is breakable. Probably not. At least things have stayed interesting. Can I really not talk to any of you? Okay. Okay, I will write that down. Dirt. At some point, I must have pressed caps look. Doesn't matter though. Hi. Plenty to do and see in the gate. No need to barge in our private chat. No, oh, what a shame. So what exactly did you see? Tomorrow I don't rightly really know, but I was up to no good lurching this way and there. Walking funny, isn't it? Hmm. Dragonborn Druid. Distinct whiff of undeath to this place. Once into the mansion's faded exterior, you see the faintest outline of a door. An entrance designed to provide the utmost discretion. The door pulses with a heavy, melancholic magic. Whatever lies behind it concerns the living and the dead. You sense it waits for the right words. It requires permission to open. Baldurans butter knife. Whatever this door is waiting to hear, it is not the name of some ancient tableware. Hmm. Praise the absolute. The door does not stir. It will not answer to the cult's demands. The long live Gortash? Lord Gortash's name opens many doors, but it does not open this one. Hello? Anybody there? Nothing responds within. It is silent as the grave. Okay. Uh, magic door. That's where you explore <laughs> everything. Uh, we'll see. Did we find the counting house? I don't think so. I believe there's a whole wall to explore there. Have you got anything I can use to bring him back? <gasps> that would be the mindless story, Charlie. I don't have any of those. Sorry. Good sweet. That's curious. Hmm. That's Gortash, isn't it? What? Be very welcome to Flim's Cobblers, humble family home of our Archduke Enver Gortash. He may not have followed in his old man's shoe steps, but Archduke's not so bad, is it? Your Gortash's father, then. He's the image of me, isn't he? Always was a handsome devil. Let's try that. I'm not usually using that, but. <sighs> Nothing. It's as though the inner workings of his mind have been wiped clean. Hmm. Interesting. Finest leather in the city. Ask anyone. That Lord Gortash should have his own column. 
Never mind just an interview. Ah, sir, you've chosen a special day to visit the family home of Archduke Enver Gortash. We're celebrating our dear son's magnificent achievement with a special run of leather-soled shoes. Let's try that with her, too. Help me! Dear gods, help me! Your tadpole squirms. These people are infected with the parasite, but something is off. Let's try it. You search her mind, but the psionic forces that control her are different, split somehow. Your own consciousness slips into the gap. Help me! God, help me! Enver's ruined my mind. He's taken my body. I should have slammed the door in his face. But I let him in and he ran some kind of worm in our eyes. I'm here, but I can't speak. I can't act. I'm trapped. Hmm. What exactly happened? We hadn't seen him in so long. I knew he was an animal, but I underestimated him. He sauntered in Lord Gortash. What a name! Conjured up like a cheap trick. Said he was back for good. And he wanted to repay us for his childhood. Still bitter after all these years, but we did what was best for him, for all of us. We had debts, world-ending debts, trying to keep this cursed shop afloat. Dangerous lenders who said they'd bury us all if we didn't pay. Then a warlock offered us a pretty penny for Enver's service. He was a smart boy, too smart. It was give him up, and all of us live or refuse and die. What choice did we have? Well, you may not have intended to, but you created a monster. He was always a little monster, nasty to the core. He would have torn me and Drupo apart with his whining, his demands, the never-ending racket of him. You may disagree, Enver did, but we don't deserve this, this torment. You're the first person who's heard the real me in months. There's nothing I can do for you, at least for now. There has to be. I can't live like this. I'm trapped. Trapped. I can put you out of your misery if you like. There has to be another way. I deserve to live again. I deserve my own life. Wait, wait! Your tadpole lashes and recoils. The connection is broken. Come again soon. I told what I had to say. That's for you. Let's crack it open. Ooh. Oh, at least it worked. You're just making that up on the spot. Where's the letter? Ah.
Nope. A collection of letters between two correspondents, but all written in an unfamiliar code or cipher. At the end of the scrapbook is a sheet titled Plain Text Deciphered by G. Chosen of Baal, your proposal is intriguing. Tell me more about the Crown of Curses. Chosen, chosen of Bane. It was created to enhance and broadcast the dominance of its creator, but during the fall it was invented, inverted, turned inward. Now, instead of the wearer dominating others, others can dominate the wearer. Chosen of Baal. Useful. I like it. How do you exert this dominance? Chosen of Bane. The crown has three begemmed fi finials. They are the Fossi, and they are detachable. Chosen of Baal. Three. So that's why our masters want Merkel to add it to the Cabal. With the crown on the right cranium, we would rule from the shadows. But how do we get it? Chosen of Bane. We steal it from Mephistopheles himself. And I know who can get us there. A diabolist named Helsick. What to do? Best be on my way. Oh. If I hold the camera precisely at this angle, the game does not lag. Really? Can I get up there? Yeah, I need to rotate the camera. No, this is locked. Helm is on our side. Have faith. I don't want to eavesdrop. Wait, bookshelf? <laughs> I should be able to destroy it. Hey. An intruder. These people are under my protection. I'll not let you harm them. Hearken to my words, wicked creature. Return to the pit of evil from whence you came. I'm Evna. Nice to meet you. Don't listen. Who knows what spells it weaves around us? Quickly, cleric. Helm. Protector of all, grant me the power to ignite this creature's flesh and burn its bones to ash. Be gone, monster. Your hag mother holds no power here. Right, the eye. A hag is after you. I can help. I've fought one before. Hence the eye. Clyde smells no lie. Then you speak truth. You fought a hag before. At ease, everyone. We may have found ourselves an ally. The eye. Forgive the paranoia. We're being hunted by a vile and wicked hag. We sought refuge here, but... Study the door. Magic infuses every thread, allowing the doll to teleport, curse, and do harm. However, with the right spell, it could be negated. Blast it all! We need to find it before it hexes us. Spread out, tear the house apart if you have to. Okay. I heard it here. Your humble cleric the power. Wait. What's in here? It's upstairs. It could be upstairs. I mean, I can see it laughing, but the doll. Grabbing it will likely do nothing. I have to negate its magic. Oh. I wonder what the next move is. 
You are the cleric. You should have anti... Oh no, it's on the 7th circle. Negate the magic, negate the magic, negate the magic. Silence? Can you not move it? I really want to move it. If I shoot it, it spills. It spills. Right. Does my feet can carry me? After crew are dead on their feet, well, the others are ready to drop everything and leave. We need to stand up. The longer they treat us like this, the harder we'll be to change. There's Vinkare, Vinkare. You removed my <laughs> hex. Ah. Uh. That's annoying. I wanted to play a little longer. Auntie likes her toys broken. She's not going to be happy I had to get my hands dirty. What? Your hex, you are behind this. They want to hurt Auntie. They have the book. I will die before I let anyone touch a hair on her head. I don't know anything about this book. I have nothing to do with this. Too bad. You shall be the dessert to my main course. Ha! Ha! Huh? You jump over here. That was interrupted. Well, it's not like there's anything else I can do. Right, um. No. I should have dashed. When I go. Oh, you're coming to us. You're so cute. Not so cute anymore. Um. Which is pulled too much. Ah, I can't sell. Invite target? Really? So nice. Don't go after it. Right. Hoped it would do something more. Get over here, and you can. Nope. Good job. For your own good, I hope you're right. Why not? Swift as my feet can carry. 
carry me. How much? 1435. Oh, this is enough. Let's see. Oh, he's still alive. That's unfortunate. I'm pretty sure she will die. <laughs> no time to lose. Good luck. Everyone, including you. A little help, please. Another fight. Let's go. There was a chance. No gloom, all doom. Wait this section. Um, how much do I need? Twenty six. I hit the trunk. <sighs> I was suspecting that something like this is gonna happen, but. Mm. Really? Come on, this okay. could be enough movement. For it to work. Thank you. Okay. Oh, I can get up here. Okay. Be quick. Maybe we can do this. Someone who can cast spell down there. For a dull moment. Another step forward. A rough tempest I will raise. Just get over here.
I mean, if you can conjure magic hand over there. Then you can conjure spiritual weapon down there. Oh, wait. Alright, it's, invis it's invisible. And. I did hope it would move. Dragon Ball was a red cup. Cladates red cups. What if? What if more come? Well, he mentioned the book. What was he talking about? That's right! The book! This is all because of the book! Clyde must get rid of it. The cleric said it was a hag's deepest secret. But what if the hag finds Clyde with it? Oh no, no! What is this secret? It's in a safe in the back. Clyde doesn't know what it is. Only that it is important. Get it away from Clyde, please! Cool. Perhaps, oops, I can Um, perhaps something for you? Directly. Zero seven to nine, yeah. And gives counterspell. Looking ahead. He had counterspell. <sighs> on the back, safe on the back. I mean, oh, there's a mirror. I thought I saw a safe, I just don't know where. This. Let's have a look. Let go panic. Bad things happen when Clyde panics. Ooh. All but the most arrogant of hacks from night to bear know that death is a possibility. As such, they won't hesitate to bend the rules of the material plane to escape death's clutches, returning stronger than ever. To do this, Hugs use, of all things, the common and humble mushroom. By imbuing those spore producing fungi with her essence, she can endlessly revive herself. Neither blade nor bow will do these fungi lasting harm. The very twisted magic that he heals the Hag defends them. Instead, fire is your ally. Burn the mushrooms to ashes, and your blade will strike the hag's heart true. But a warning, hunter, even in death, a hag is dangerous. Be quick, be swift, and be deadly. The girl is dead. We were close, so close to perfecting it. Another day, and she would have been safe. But we were too late. It was too much for the mother. I found her swinging from the rafters this morning. Helm, forgive me for not saving her. Forgive me for not saving her child. Two years old and eaten alive by a hag. What is wrong with this world? But it doesn't have to be this way. I'm onto something. I know it. Hags have powerful digestive systems. It's what allows them to turn a child into a hag. However, their gut flora is incredibly sensitive to certain alchemical agents. With the right ingredients and helm on my side, I could theoretically force emesis, cause emesis causing the hag to vomit up a stolen child. I both pray this works and that I'll never have to use it. The detailed instructions follow on how to make what the author calls the hag's day. And it will be where exactly? Hag's pain. Sure. Hartling bomb. Superior portion here and supreme. Oh. Okay. Can't afford to stay idle. What is? What is? 
shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Good to get it off your chest. Ooh. We just go into let Watts. Of course, each of those houses has. There are traps about. Please disarm them before Gale steps into one again. Or all of them. A trap. Some I want to say that this is. There's been a there. long. It's been a long time since the last time I said. Is that ill? Fishes. Oh How many? That might be worth a look. Mm -hmm. What's that? Marble plate. He gets 15 out of his own bonuses, so... We shall never meet, but I am Garlo, and I have spent most of my life in the walls in which you now find yourself. I served long within this home, such that it was left to me when my master died. I devoted myself wholly to a life of service, but found once my time had finished that I had hardly lived for myself for a single day. That's changed now. I depart for Kalim Shan in the morning and hope to see the world from there. Please take care of this little place. It was my whole world. Hmm. What's up? Mm -hmm. well, list of things to do. Climb a tree, have a truly exceptional sandwich, spend a whole day reading, visit what I did, get a message, swim into the shantar, buy a new coat, get a cat. All right. Come on. I'm watching you. We should be able to get out of here now. Please open it. Oh, the answer, he gets 13 bonus to doing stuff like that. I have no idea how we are still breathing. Should have at least locked the place up proper before they left. Oh. I'm pretty sure they are done. You've been picking where you shouldn't be a tree. Placing the Lordlings fire spitters throughout my city again, Dad? Come on, we need to get inside. 
unless then maybe through this no okay hi I want to have a word what are you after friend got grub potions a few nice vintages they stock up now before someone clears me out to fill their larder hmm Sure, actually, why not? I'm gonna stack some potions. Some peril. Have you seen any gazetteers around? Mm, I can give you this. I'm very sure that's all. Oh, wait, what? To start work exactly, I can just sell him stuff. Oh, that's great. I just need to make sure he has enough to buy it for me. I'm still keeping those things, even though I don't really need them. Okay. They say there's trouble heading for the city. If that's so, then these goods will be like gold dust before long. Could be. Um. Same to camp. Same to camp. I think that's all. Great. Can I use your... Careful! People don't bloody look... No. I'm so glad that no one cares that I'm going through their stuff. Um, hmm. Recipe for perfect cookies. I mean, after all, why not? Why shouldn't I take it? Maybe if we can jump. Come on, get over here. Just jump through the fence. I mean, he's already been killed. They will probably care if I try to. Too high. Okay, kill because you can jump there. No. What about flying? I do hope so. I'm almost down to the last crumbs. What we'll happened to your last cheese dropper? Alexander was his name. He dropped all manner of morsels, but the cheeses were the best until the red man visited. Tell me about this red man who visited Alexander. A dwarf, all dressed in red. He smiled and held Alexander closer, and then Alexander was shouting and struggling, and soon he was all dressed in red as well. So 
many red morsels fell out of Alexander. They tasted like salt and rust. Very good. Even better than cheese. Where did that wolf go? Away. To make more people red and to spill their tasty morsels. Go mm. away now. Your delicious scent makes me crave your morsels. But it would be rude to bite you. It would be rude. Corpse regards you lifelessly. What were you doing when you died? Investigating odd records. What odd records? Tombstone. No owner decades now. Which tombstone shot? Old Candal Hellos. Why were you killed? The corpse remains silent. It does not know. Who killed you? He was short, dressed in red. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Hmm, I'll take that. He prefers his cheese is crumbled to little pieces. Mm. Makes sense. Um, today, yeah, I checked his belongings. Mate, we're worried about you. You've gotten too deep into this conspiracy nonsense, and honestly, it's making you dull. You're coming out for drinks tonight. They're singing loot at sundown. You'd better be there. We're going to have to come and get you. And there's no guarantee you will be sober. Hmm. Killed, 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 Cora, Highbury, I don't if she's also killed. Figure, Penny Good killed, Jeff Rover, I don't know. We have to go back to the counting house. What were you thinking? Seems simple enough. Intrepid hobbyist who pursued the exploration of Baldur's Gate will find no greater challenge than that offered by discovering the dark crown beneath the city's streets. Everyone knows, of course, that the city's sanitation needs are served by extensive sewer tunnels through which water flows, carrying waste downhill into Grey Harbor. Once you find your way into these sewers through one of the round streets across its hatches, you will enter a noisome but intriguing domain. Haunted mainly by the half civilized cobalt tribe that maintains the pipes and culverts. And somewhere hidden in its far corners, the sewers are said to connect to the long forgotten tunnels of the truly haunted under sea ruins. It's thrilling to think about exploring the dangerous region, but for liability reasons, this auto can recommend it. Oh, another hatch. Better be careful not to trigger that thing. That thing? Oh, that thing. Can you... I have an idea. Thank you. 
Oh dear. Someone's left a trap out for us. Where? I've got a long road ahead. <laughs> but smeared with paint, among other things. This must belong to dribbles. The time bit and parchment of the scroll flakes and fades, obscuring most of its content. The beast described the process for breaking an enchantment that has bound a mighty dragon into another service. With haste. Damn it. Let that all fit in my pack. Of course I remember. Knew the second that girl was walking that she would be a trouble. Little thief. Always in everyone's business. And that word of Gorion went right along with her. No surprise that wicked girl's blood was running in their veins. And was got keep uh, Serevok and his lot are always the first ones that come to mind. You know this all started with a bit of iron in Nashkel? Everyone thought the weapons would rot out of their hands. Back then, I thought the problem was about trade. Never took the man for a son of Baal. Amir mercenary interviewed on his deathbed. You dare speak that name to me. My mistress was turned to ash fighting those forsaken wretches. I curse Baal, I curse Iren Ire Irenicus, and I curse you. Cause I bumper. The five tore tattered to pieces. I don't think anyone expected more ball spawn showing up would fix the war that a pack of them started. Then again, they were all inclined to killing each other, eh? Good riddance. Here's hoping every last one of them has been wiped off the face of Faerun. I'm not authorized to be talking about any murder with someone like you. Take it up at the sea tower if you want to argue. But honestly, who cares if bull spawn goes Go exactly them. Their father is the killing type at all. Plain things gone flat. Hmm. Sure. The effigy of a basical who soared on shredded wings. What use his pride? He fought himself a dragon, but died as a worm. Or in the red. I'll come across several pointers toward the Kandul Hollow's tombstone shop, so I decided to use my spare time for a while to watch it for suspicious activity. Indeed, the place is strange. It seems disconnected from Kandul Hollow's main mortuary business over in Eastway. In fact, they don't seem to sell anything at all. There's one cow shop lad who hangs about looking bored. Otherwise, there's just the occasional customer who enters and then stays side for a while, sometimes for hours. When they leave, these customers seem different somehow. I would swear I saw one go in and out in the same clothes, but leave wearing a different face. Must say alert. I think the shop lad may have, may have noticed me hanging around. I'll give this observation just one more day. Plamondon tells us that Grey Harbour was a small coastal village before Balduran returned with his sea treasure and found the great city here. But the vast subterranean ruins hidden beneath our modern city sewer system tell a very different story. There was a city on the bight of the lower Chiantar ages before Balduran built his sea tower. A metropolis of grand boulevards and granite towers opened to the sky before the animal cataclysm that split them to their foundations and then swallowed them into the bedrock. Who were these forgotten people who lived in the age before Baldron? Perhaps more importantly, who or what still lives in the ruins of that tumble down, down port down below? What things, creatures or creations look deep beneath our streets? And do they have designs on what we like to think of as our world and surface above? Uh, I know that I ownership that is of Candle House tombstones. Uh, okay. I know the address to Alexander Rainforest. Alright, my lord's been watching the tombstone spot for 10 days now. Seen a bunch of folk in big cloaks going in. Only seen a scant few come out though. It's weird, you'd think it would be quite cramped in there by now with as many folk inside. It's only a tiny shop. Anyways, your lump sum brought you a 10 day. You want more? Our time pay up. Run, Moonglue. Okay. 
Okay, what Let's see. Doing? Bottle first. Ooh.